One more. Yes. Um, this one here wasn't something that I saw at Nam, but I saw it on uh, the Toman YouTube channel. Yes. It's the Palmer Supreme uh, Soaker. Yes, yes. I actually, so it's basically yeah. an. I actually, I also have an you have article. It on your list too? Yeah, let me just find the oh, cool. article. There it is. The Supreme Loader. A soaker, sorry. Uh, but loader because, yeah, yeah, load box, attenuator, speaker simulator. So this one here is said to be analog. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if it's 100% analog or mostly analog with some digital options. Yes. But uh, this, again, is something that's interesting, kind of in the same vein as like Two Notes and other companies that do stuff like this. Mm -hmm. But they're offering a more analog approach to it. So I don't know if it's going to be like EQ curves that are simulating speakers or something like that. But uh, yeah, it's an interesting take because I mean, when you consider it, Palmer is actually one of the original yes. like uh, speaker simulator companies. Yes. So it's kind of fun to see them come back into this game and be competitive again. So uh, I don't, do you know a little bit more about this? Because I don't have a whole lot of details on it. So um, I'm yeah, also I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's... Um let me see. So from the just looking at the controls, just from the image, I would assume it's more um, tailored towards people who kind of like the appeal of the aux box from Universal Audio, but they don't want to spend. I don't know what is this thing is like over one thousand bucks, right? I'm not sure. Um, probably, yeah, probably. Um, but they want the kind of uh, kind of same sort of feeling with it where you just put it on top of your amp you connect it and you have a few controls to fiddle around with but you don't want to go too, too much into depth but from what i see um you're right it seems to be something like like a like an eq curve that simulates uh certain uh speaker types um so the so um, this is in a german article that i found so i'm trying to uh kind of um, translate that in real time. The, the Supreme Soaker combines a load box and an attenuator and is suitable for uh, tube amps with up to 150 watt power output, which is a lot. Um, it definitely yeah. also works as an analog speaker simulation with uh, five precise tuned speaker presets. Um, what else? Yeah, so you can reduce the actual output that comes out after yeah, so the attenuation output in six seven steps and then it also comes with a microphone input on the front oh okay so okay. there's a microphone input that you uh that you can use to mix the micro uh, the the mic'd up uh sound with the direct sound of the soaker. That's interesting. Oh, okay. That's interesting. And you can blend those. Um, then you have headphone outs. Uh, headphone outs, you have an aux in to use with, you know, external like backing track sources or something. Uh, you'll have a symmetric XLR stereo out, obviously. Um, stereo effects loop, reamp output to do reamping in the studio. That's great. Um, okay. It is completely analog, and everything that you need to control is uh, can be found in the unit itself. Uh, you don't need an app. You don't need a menu. It's just like switch it on, put it where you want to put it, and play. Um, Palma used their 40-year expertise um, from all the products, the, the successful products in the past, and put them into one unit, uh, which then is going to market around 1,200 euros. S steep. That's not bad. It's not bad, but it's also it is steep. It, it, well, if you consider like the aux box, that is that uh, at least for me as a guitar player, I, I'm looking at the price. I'm like, that's the price of a fucking like expensive boutique. Yes, because especially when I was living in Canada, I was looking at them and I think they were like eighteen hundred or something like that, and I was like, holy shit, I can't afford this. So I was really happy to have what I have over here, which is uh, the, the capture 16. Yeah. 
But if you're looking to go down that route, I mean, you're still saving a lot of money compared to the Oxbox, which is digital. This one here is analog. But I think if we omit like the analog and digital uh, aspect of it, these guys have been in this game for a long time yes. and they stuck to their guns. They're making like analog stuff. And from my experience with them, which is very, very sparse mm. to say the least, every time I tried their stuff, it's fucking stellar. Mm. And their price point are usually very competitive. Yes. When I was over at Guitar Summit, I believe it was uh, the folks from uh, Surfy Bear, uh, in the Surfy Industries, they had a little Palmer unit, which was acting as like the, the cab simulator. Yeah. And believe it or not, to in my opinion, they had the best fucking sound of all the, the units I tried. Like I tried, people were doing like the ox box and the two notes and that. And when I got to this little Palmer unit, I think that sells for like 60 bucks or something like that. Yeah. It sounded fucking cool. Like yeah. it had a great sound. So if they can get that in here and it sounds killer, then maybe the price is going to be justified. If they don't sound that great and, you know, they don't have, you know, all the, the features you would find on something like the Oxbox and all that, which because it's digital is going to offer you way more options. But if you don't get option paralysis from this thing, because, you know, it's sticking to like the basics and fundamentals and it sounds killer, maybe the 1200 is not so steep. Yeah. Um, and here's my, here's my, my, my pet peeve external um i mean i know that people want to keep things <laughs> as compact as possible but come on guys an external yeah. power supply oh please well you can't yeah. have it all can you no <laughs> well maybe that's something they, they could change in the future but something like this like you would expect like a normal normal wall wart kind of input where you have the options for like north american or european yeah uh, electricity something like that but right now with something like this it's like you get your own cable with your own converter and you hope and it's also the connection onto a unit yeah. like this like it can come undone so easily so yeah yeah 